Damn, Grandma, welcome back to the channel. So, Happy Cat Crypto here, another episode. Um, I want to start this one off with a bit of um, conspiracy. Yeah, that's right, I said it, conspiracy. Um, kind of just funny stuff that I didn't pick up on this straight away. Now, somebody, well, a lot of people have actually sent this to me, to be, um, to be fair. But um, a lot of people have picked up on it. <laughs> awesome. So... I'm not going to say nothing. What words can you see in this um, Scrabble board? Because I only see one that really stands out to me because being a lunatic, of course. Um, but we do see Bitcoin in there as another coin. But I mean, ultimately, I've I've sat here and I've, I've tried looking for other coins so to speak like if I can find SHIB and stuff to show up as well and mm, I don't but I do see LUNK and if you don't see it you can see it here L-U-N-C and of course it's not written out like a Scrabble word should be but the fact that it's somehow arrived in here in itself is um it's rather funny isn't it because ugh <clears throat> They've been playing with us for a long time, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, very interesting to see them putting this out. There could have been any coin that could have made up. It could have been an S. Um, you know what I'm getting at. It could have been any other coin. But yeah, once again, it's Lunk. Um, so yeah, very interesting to see that. So what do I want to talk to you folks about today? Well, I was writing out a tweet because that's what you do as an influencer. You write out tweets, right? So... It's all about how Luna Classic and Luna must coexist. And this is just my opinion. And neither coins are ever going to be leaving the space. Okay. That much is absolutely obvious. We've been through probably the worst thing any cryptocurrency could go through. And we've survived. And um, many people can now turn around and say, I'm a survivor of the capitulation crash. And it was one of the worst things that have ever happened in crypto, if not the worst thing. So they both pump together and a lot of people seem to forget that when one does something the other one does it and um when the other one does something the other one does it so therefore each one carries each other and <clears throat> we need to work together it's very very important that <clears throat> we work together with each with each other to prosper to gain reach to bring awareness to the chains and get ourselves in position for this next bull run that's coming so don't let luna 2 stress you out too much you keep seeing it around you keep seeing duke one tweeting about it and all these other validators on board it's there it's not going anywhere it's a whole nother network of this it's just it's it's happened okay <clears throat> we didn't want luna 2 none of us wanted it okay that much is obvious but it's there it happened and it's arrived and no one's getting rid of it, okay? No one's getting rid of the Terraform Labs. And as to all of the people saying, well, can't TFL just step in and prevent everything from happening? And the truth is, yeah, they can. But are they going to do that? Absolutely not. Because Duquan's already passed the torch. We know that. We've covered this multiple times now. If we scroll down, we go all the way down to this rocket, we find a rocket, and then we find ThorChain.Bull. And if we go into this section of um, comments and replies and all sorts of stuff like that, he pretty much says about 100% passing the torch and not actually showing any signs that they're going to be coming back to help anytime soon, but they will help where they can. And this whole leadership thing needs to just be minus out of this tweet and... A group of people such as Terror Rebels will have no problems gaining this conceptual mastery at all. If anything, they're already there, in my opinion. And once, <clears throat> once V21 goes ahead, it means the software updates will always come from Terror Rebels in the future, meaning that TFL would need to put in a proposal to pretty much get all the validators to then accept their new software updates so they could... Um, have control but control in a sense of 
not controlling the price or anything like that, just having control of applying updates to the, reposit the current repository. And a lot of people sit there and go, they don't have up access to TFL's uh, repository. So how are they doing all this? Because you can go into it, you just can't make changes to it. You can go in, you can look at it, you can copy it. You can literally copy the whole thing and make your own repository and produce your own software update with all kinds of crazy things in it. So coming off that now and really looking at how's the burning going and just remember as well, before we do come off of that, folks, okay, I support Luna Classic, but I also support every other blockchain out there because ultimately for Terra Classic to grow as a coin further, to gain more reach, to, to reach more projects. We need to work with as many chains as we can. And it, uh, we need to make sure we're not missing anyone. And if you look at Galactic Punks, okay, they've just pretty much left the classic space. And it's horrible to see a good NFT project go like that. And I ensure to make sure that we don't lose Luna Punks. That's one of my goals is to make sure we do not lose Luna Punks from the chain because it brings so much utility to um to the space so going over now to the um dead wallet we're going to go to the bit query we're going to set it to a custom range we're going to set it to clear and as you can see we've burnt 1.93 billion coins nearly at 2 billion it's looking good this is the third month we're so early into this and you've got awesome people burning like lunatics token as you can see holding that number one position now on the lunk penguins um burn ticker so to speak um what what could we expect to see from these folks in the future a lot more a lot lot more a lot more burns a lot bigger and a lot more crazier the team seem amazing and they're in contact because terra classic tv alliance gives all of these people the ability to communicate with each other and all have direct lines to each other through the alliance and what we want to see is coin in possibly put a list in for lunatics token and deploy starship possibly list in lunatics token and possibly metagloria in the future as well and it's all about working together it's all about go not going right i'm the only project can make a difference it's far and wide big and small long and short however you want to say it we're all involved in this and no one's not playing their part as we can see coin in sending uh coin in save the moon sending their second burn uh this morning 4.6 million is pretty good. Any burn is a good burn. We can see that 4 million got burnt from Lunk Dow's chess, chess tournament. Well done, everybody that got involved in that. So, folks, stay safe out there, okay? Do remember there's lots of people burning. If you haven't liked, subscribe, tap the notifications bell. Feel free to do that. Stay informed and um, we'll always have your back. We're never going to ditch you. We're never going to pay out on you or anything like that. It's not financial advice. Beware of scammers and we'll catch you in the next one. Shalom.